unbelievable as this may sound, there was a cartoon on Nickelodeon before Spongebob that was everywhere. And that cartoon was called Rugrats. Probably the most remembered cartoon from the 90s, Rugrats ran 14 years, had three theatrical films and of course video games. So to celebrate its CGI comeback, I thought I'd replay an old classic from the PS1 era, Rugrats Search for a Reptile. Released in 1998 for the PlayStation 1 and... Well that's it. Hm. You'd think one of the biggest cartoons of the time would appear on a lot more consoles. Oh, yep, once again the unappealing graphics don't give off a good first impression, even if it is based on a cartoon, but as I said before, gameplay comes first, and that's another problem, but I'm getting ahead of myself, what's the story to all this? All the Rugrats are trying to put together a puzzle piece based on their favourite TV show, Reptile, a Godzilla parody because... I don't know, toddlers love Godzilla. But unfortunately all the pieces are missing and it's up to them to find all the pieces and complete the puzzle before, I don't know, bedtime. And that's it. Nothing too special. But it is a game about babies for babies. And you can play as all five of them. And occasionally Spike the Dog, which does offer variety. Especially on certain levels, which changes the gameplay to fit that style of the level it's based on. Such as a tricycle to jump on the target, a level that has a laser remote to destroy enemies, a level where you have to collect objects before time runs out, a race level, and a golfing level where you play... Golf. But you mostly play as Tommy, the lead rugby, who can run, jump, and pick stuff up. Because he's a baby, and that's all he can do. But, and this is where the problems start coming in. The controls are stiffy and slightly jaggy that it really doesn't help when you're trying to jump to one platform to another and the camera isn't that responsive, which will get stuck even when you're trying to turn around a simple corner. And these problems can occur as you're exploring the hub of the game, the Pickles House, which contains all the levels, which you enter by interacting with objects associated with that level. A pretty unique way of processing the game, and if you were a fan at the time, you notice nearly every level is based on episodes from the TV show. Adding a lot more exploration, you'd be surprised what you can find. Trust me on that. During the levels you have a main objective, which you have to complete to unlock a puzzle piece. But you can also earn an extra piece if you collect 15 reptile bars, which are scattered throughout each level, and also have this annoying raw sound effect every time you get one. When you get to a halfway point of the puzzle, you unlock a mini game where you have to prevent Angelica from eating too many cookies or drinking all the chocolate milk. Like I said before, it's a game for kids. A game that only shows the adults in cutscenes and never in the actual levels, which always gives off a isolated feeling even in the Pickles house, which you would think there would be plenty of adults. And there's also a level that's entirely set in the dark, where you have to fight shadow monsters. A game where you get lost in a store and have to fight lobsters that could easily hurt a baby, or you get stuck in a closed toy store being stalked by a purple gorilla that can be heard from his footsteps alone, where you get assaulted by a robot clown in the basement, where you can get easily lost in the maze with insane geese, where you can get lost in the sewers of giant rats, where you get abducted by aliens. This game is for kids, right? I'm losing track, sorry. Once you find all the puzzle pieces, you unlock the final level of the game, where you play as Reptile himself. And while it isn't a great Godzilla-based level, there is something enjoyable about stomping around, setting fire to things, taking bites out of buildings, and causing unknown property damage. Again, this is a game for kids, right? Final result, casual gamers can, if they can get past the awkward controls, quick enjoyment from it, and its faithfulness to the show can bring a smile to any fans. Just don't have any nightmares afterwards.